This problem is a good example of how to solve a rational equation. Uh, the problem involves electricity. In an electrical circuit, if two resistors with resistance R1 and R2 are connected in parallel, as shown, then the total resistance R between point A and point B can be represented by the following equation. So uh, we should have had a point B in there somewhere. Let's say here, oh, point B. Thank you. Um, so anyways, uh, here is resistor R1, and here is resistor R2. Um, th this is actually the resistor, and this is the label. Um, and here's point A, and here's point B. And it turns out that in, in electri with electricity, if you take two resistors, these are electrical components, and you put them in and you attach them in parallel in this way, in other words, you attach their two ends together, um, you get a total resistance that can be found by using this formula. And over here, this is the total resistance, the R. So uh, you can see it's a rational equation. We have variables and fractions. Um, in this particular uh, example, we, we are given that R1 is equal 24 and R2 is equal 40, and we are asked to then find R. So let's begin. 1 over R is what we're looking for, and that is equal to 1 over 24 plus 1 over 40. Now the first thing we'll do, like we always do when we're trying to add fractions with unlike denominators, is to find the least common denominator. And one way we can do that is to gather up the um, prime factors with exponents. Um, 24 is like 3 times 8, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So that'll be like 2 cubed times uh, 3, that gets us 24, and then 40 is like, uh, well we could do a factor tree, but I don't have the space here, um, but it's something like 2, it's 8 times 5, which is 2 cubed times 5. And uh, I have a theory uh, for finding the least common denominator that involves shopping, except uh, you're looking for the most expensive items. Uh, we'll consider uh, this guy to be a store and this is a store and what we're looking to do is get the most expensive items that we can uh, strangely uh, at, at eat one store or the other so the way we're gonna do it is let's see I'm looking for a 2 and over here is a 2 cubed and here's another 2 cubed so my LCD is going to include a 2 cubed I'm looking for a 3 here's a 3 and here's no 3 um, so I'll take the most expensive 3 I can find which is 3 to the first power and I'll multiply that times my 2 cubed. And then I see a 5 here, but no 5 here. So I'll take my most expensive 5, which is a 5 to the first power. And by shopping for the most expensive item from either store, I get my LCD. And in this case, it's 8 times 15, which gets me 120. Now, uh, in order to go to the next step, I have to go and... Uh, make both fractions have that least common denominator. And the way we'll do that is we'll take the 1 over 24 and we'll multiply it times 5 over 5. 5 times 24 gets me 120. And we will multiply 1 over 40 times whatever it takes in order to get uh, 120 on the bottom which will be 3 over 3. And after we do that, we'll end up with 5 over 120 plus 3 over 120. And that gets us 8 over 120. So essentially what we have is this. We have uh, 1 over r equals 8 over 120. And if you recall the idea of cross, uh, cross multiplication, what we can do is we can multiply 1 times 120, and that should be equal to 8 times r. And let's go ahead and see what that gets us. That gets us uh, 8r is equal to 120. And if I divide both sides by 8, I get r equals 15. 
So there you have it. Uh, a good practical application for solving rational equations and uh, lots of little tricks along the way.